how does becoming a listed company change the company? You now have acquisition currency. You now have to report in a different way. How different to business is this going to be? Uh, not at all. So uh, I became CEO in 2019 after having run another public listed company, Shire, and I, together with the team, immediately put all the procedures, processes in place to run it as a public company. This was the goal from the beginning. And the last two years, which is rather unusual for a private company, we've been putting out at the beginning of the year guidance. And the good news is we've not only met, we've actually in many cases exceeded or been at the top of the guidance guidance we've given. So we're all set from ESG to financial reporting to how to run a company. All the policies are in place. So not much is going to change. Yeah, good morning to you, Fleming. Can I ask about where growth comes from in this sector? This does seem to be a sector. The skincare category seems to be doing uh, very well versus uh, other areas of consumer spending. Something structural here perhaps happening. Where do you see the growth coming from? A lot of focus in moving into men's uh, tar product, products targeted at men and also targeting younger consumers. I wonder where you focus. Uh, Anna, also good morning to you. Well, I think uh, we're in three very high growth segments. So our largest business, about um, half our business is in what is called injectable aesthetics. It's a lowly penetrated market. We see significant growth around the world. We're in fillers, biostimulatory products, and neuromodulators all showing very strong growth. The second sector is dermatological skin care. Yes, we're competing against some really uh, big companies, but we've taken share, done really well. Consumer are really interested in that category. The e-commerce is growing very fast. Uh, Asia Pacific growing really fast. And then we are in therapeutic dermatology where you need a prescription. And there we're coming out with a really attractive product called Nemolizumab. We showed great growth last year and we have very excellent outlook. So a lot of factors coming together, but it takes us all on the trajectory of being the undisputed leader in pure play dermatology.